Claire Year 6 and welcome to Wednesday's Literacy Lesson. So today we're not going to actually be writing anything in our workbook. We are going to be using our purple book, okay? Now, you will need to just have a little look on page 14 in your workbook because you'll need this picture here, okay? So this picture you will need for your ideas today. So you will need to look at the picture. You might even want to draw a little picture of it into your purple book to help you. But you're not actually going to write anything in there. You only need your purple book. So we're going to be planning an explanation. OK, so on Friday, we're going to be writing it. But today, we're going to put all of our ideas together and plan one. So I'm going to do one on something slightly different than yours. And then you are going to plan yours using the picture from the what from the workbook. So an explanation then describes how something works. So it uses lots of the vocabulary that you looked at on Monday. So adverbials, um, connecting phrases and linking phrases, um, conjunctions, using pronouns so that you are not repetitive. So we are going to plan one today because I don't want to launch straight into the writing just yet without getting our ideas. So the one that I'm going to do with you is this, okay? So this is the, the invention that I'm going to do with you, just to give you some ideas of how to put it together. And then you're going to have a look at the invention that is in your workbook, this one, and do something similar with yours. So I've got here a bed and it's got lots of different things around it. OK, so it is taken from one of the Wallace and Gromit inventions and it's called, so mine's already got a name. Um, so it's called, this one is called the Snoozatron. And it's designed to help people sleep. OK, so this one is called the Snoozatron. So what I would like you to do today is you're going to have your, so like I say, you might want to draw the picture in your purple book of the invention here, this one, so the one that you're going to be working in, and then you're going to complete this around the edge. So the more detail you do this in, when you come to write, it will make it so much easier, okay? So the first thing I want you to think about is what does the invention do? So what's the main point of it? Not how it works, because you've got that here. What does it actually do? So this invention here, the Snoozatron, is designed to help people when they can't sleep. So it's really important before you even get started to think about what the invention actually does, before you go into the details of how it works. So then, when you've decided what your invention does, you need to think about, because there's quite a lot of parts on yours here, quite complex, lots of down to the seat. Um, you know, it might be like a time travel machine or um, it might help somebody to do a certain job. So think about what each little part does. So how does it work? So I might say something like these hands here. So it's got giant hands to plump the pillows. So it's got giant hands that come out and plump the pillows. Okay, so I might say that about mine. Um, it's got a, a machine here. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. So it's got a machine here. So I might think about what kind of things that that does. So you've got to be so precise when you start to explain it. So to the left, there's, there's a machine. So machine plays soothing. So I'm thinking about my, my vocabulary here. So the machine plays soothing music. Okay. Um, and then I might think about, oh, what helps me to get back to sleep? So it might be, you know, think about what might have woken me up. So I might have, um, it also produces warm milk. I 
and some biscuits. Okay, so, so that I can make sure I'm nice and soothed and I'm not hungry and I'm not thirsty to help me get back to sleep. Okay, so what else might it do? So I might have, or I might have woken up cold or something, so I might have um, a heated pad, a heated blanket, switches on. Okay, so I'm thinking about all aspects of my invention, my machine, and explaining how they work. Okay, so once you've done that, I want you to think about some vocabulary. So you want to make this sound really, really good. So you might have things like extraordinary, unique. Think about each part of your um, invention so that you can think about words that might be really useful for there. You might go on to thesaurus.com and look up a better word um, for, for that part of your machine. So I've put soothing, relaxing, I might have thinking about my biscuits are delicious. Okay, so go and have a really good think about the vocabulary that you might use to describe your machine. And then you will also need to think about what is it, what it is called. Okay, delicious. So mine is the snooze trot. Okay, you will have lots and lots more detail than that. So think about, so if I go back to yours, so first you have a picture, it gives you some suggestions. So I said about time travel, this one said it might travel to other worlds, it help, it might produce something. So this one, because remember your work on Monday was about rainbows. So it says, does it produce a rainbow? It's got a light here. It um, makes me think of like the, the if you've seen Cloudy with a Trance of Meatballs. Um, so you might have something like that producing some sort of weather. It might produce food um, lot, on lots of people's minds, I'm sure. Um, so it might produce food. What could it do? So it's got a tank on here um, that makes me think like it is some sort of travel um, so this might like be you know, oxygen or something like that. It might go underwater. It might go into space. So it's absolutely up to you. But think about so that might be why a good thing to give it perhaps draw it in the middle. So you might want to label all of these things. Um, it's got a, a suitcase here as well. Again, which makes me think travel. So make sure you are really detailed thinking about what each part of this machine does. Okay. So I'm going to leave you to it. I'm really excited to see what you come up with today. I know how imaginative and inventive you are, but I'd really like to see in your paper books lots and lots of detail of what this invention does so that you are ready on Friday to write an explanation of how it works. Remember, the more detail you put in today, the easier it will make it on Friday. Looking forward to seeing all of you.